Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Legacy. I just want to make a very, very quick announcement, and it is to say that um, recently I did not put any uh, videos up on YouTube. And the fact is because I was live streaming those days uh, because the new update for The Sims 4 came out with the new Christmas stuff and everything. So I wanted to allow you guys to see that in live mode instead of having to show it all to you in a LP. Now I am going to be... Um, making a review on what I think of those items soon and also I'm going to be doing um, some adding showing you guys a little bit of it in some of my Sims 4 LPs so if you want to see that stuff and you couldn't make it to the twitch or if you didn't want to watch the rerun then feel free to check out the LPs that I do on them and um, yeah so I'll go through that but the review on it is not going to show all the items it's just going to show kind of what I think of what they've done so far with the three up the th three free updates and what I thought that they should have done maybe you know a little differently and um, all the free items that we've gotten so far and what's my favorite so that's what I'm gonna be doing and um, yeah so anyways let's get into this I don't want to make this into an update video because it seems like I'm already going that way and it's not what I intentionally wanted to do um, so let's get into this. So in the last one, Bonnie, I believe, had passed away because we still got two days of uh, witnessing the death. Um, so right now, Gino is getting up and I'd really like him to come out here and mourn her if he can. Can you mourn? Can he not mourn her while she's up there? That's weird. All right. Well, I'm going to have to keep it on the floor until they can actually, uh, they're actually done mourning her and then we'll go from there because I do want them to mourn her for the fact that I don't want them to be dying of, you know, being heartbroken for two days. So let's go ahead and just let them do this and then, um, then I'll put it back up on the pedestal, which, which will be fine. All right. Go ahead and use this when you're done and take your shower and then we need to get you to eat something because you are pretty hungry. Um, sorry, the t I just started up the game, so the house and everything is just loading up. All right, French toast sounds pretty good to me. Oh, I'm sorry, Gino. I feel so bad for this family. Actually, all of my original Sims are actually passing away in my LPs. It's like a devastating time. It's really sad. Um, oh, and he saw the ghost of Mips. <laughs> Too funny. Mips must be around. Where's Mips at? Mips is sleeping. <laughs> Cute. Right, Jax, my friend. You really need to scratch. No more talking for you. Let's get you over here. Uh, first off, let's replace this. And let's go ahead and scratch. Um, you're pretty good. I'm just going to keep letting you sleep. And you need some energy as well. So I'm going to go ahead and let you sleep here. You don't need to nuzzle with the cat. Uh, you're pretty good on that. All right, Gino, you want to do what? What is this opportunity for? By Saturday, 11.58. A great onion. I don't even know if we have an onion. Oh, we do. Why is it not... What? Restor Hold on. Restaurants that cook with locally grown ingredients are really successful. The chef has given you a great onion in the hopes that you can plant it and grow an excellent onion. Bring it to work with you and you'll earn a raise. Okay, so we need to grow this. And when is this opportunity over? Saturday? Okay, so we've got some time. Let's get this planted. Um, can we plant this in here? Is there anything in here? No, I don't think so. All right, let's go ahead and plant this. Plant it in there. There we go. And that should be pretty good for that, I would think. All right, the carpool for charity is coming in a bit. Okay, charity. What do you need, my friend? What do you need, my darling? I know she's mourning. She does... Ooh, social is horrible. Oh, no. No! All right, so she's going to work in business, but she's going to have to socialize with her boss when she gets there. So let's just take care of the other needs that she has. Um, one of them being mourning this, because that'll help her a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to let her use the bathroom items because that's what she really needs. All right, you're going to be sleeping for a while and you're about to get up. I'm hoping maybe you'll be able to use this bathroom as well. That would be amazing. 
Oh, there's Vaughn. We need to take his, um, we need to, uh, take his, um, what you call it, to the gra the graveyard. Alright, so she's mourning Bonnie as well, which is her mama bear, so that's sad. I'm sad for this family. I hate the mourning process, but it comes for everyone, I'm sure, so... Alright, so really we just need the two boys to take care of that, and then we should be good. Alright. And Charity is going to be our next heir, so we need to definitely get her married. I've been asking you guys what you guys want to do with Niklaus and George, and no one has really given me an answer. So, I'm keeping them in the household until further notice. That's my plans. I don't plan to change it. And I think we should be good. What are you doing, Vaughn? He's just making himself something up. What are you making? Deep fried candy bars. Alright, when she's done in the shower, she should be pretty good to go. Alright, let me just get you to mourn this since you'll have a bit of time. Go ahead and mourn. It'll definitely help. Okay, and then use. And then shower. And we'll see if you have enough time to do anything after that. Um, are you sleeping in here? sleep. Uh, she needs to get going. She should be going in just a second. And when she goes, I'm going to have her just work with her boss because that's what she really needs to be doing. Everyone is mourning poor Bonnie. It's so sad. Okay. And after he is done, he's going to use the bathroom and then we should be good from there. All right. Did you plant that? Did you plant that onion seed? Did you plant it? No. Plant. Plant it here. Did you get knocked out because of the ghost? I think you did. Yeah, you totally did. No, don't put them away. Eat them. Eat your waffies. Eat your waffy waffersons. Alright, why don't you suck up to your boss? I'm hoping that's going to help your uh, social. Hoping. Can't promise nothing. Alright. Sorry about my bird. Hopefully he'll be quiet in just a second. All right, and you need fun. How are you doing on work? You're already maxed out. We could actually just have you retire if we wanted. But I'll let you do that when you become an elder. Elder. That's what I'm thinking anyways. Okay. And you need sleep as well. So what are you doing? What are these cats doing? Why is this lagging down so much as well? All right, go ahead and sleep here. Can you mourn? Yeah, you guys need to mourn this as well. Because it's breaking you guys too. Like, it's a negative 50 on them. So mourn. And when you get up, go ahead and mourn. Okay. And when you're done with this, let's go ahead and get you to clean that up. Alright. And if you have time, let's go ahead and eat some... Don't you have school? Hold up. Don't you have school? One day and one hour. Okay. Um, go ahead and eat. Eh, there's no breakfasty foods. All right, Gino, can we have you serve up some breakfast? Can you serve up some more? Uh, serve up some more French toast. Seems pretty good for the soul. All right, that should be pretty good. All right. I know, I know. Oh, we didn't change up his looks and stuff. Um. Alright, let's go ahead and do that right now, because I totally forgot to do that. What is he doing? Where is he going? Stop. Change your appearance. Okay. She went to work for the first time. Just love the new car smell. Remarked Georgia Madon Medina. Okay. Alright, so here we go. Let's go ahead and change him up, because I know I didn't put him in those clothes, which means I didn't change him at all. Um... This hair isn't bad, actually. All right. Uh, let me see which one it is that he's wearing. Let's see if I can find this. Okay, so it's this one here. It's the high-end loft. All right, I just want to see if there's any other ones that I feel make him look better. I really like that one on him, actually. I really do. Um... <laughs> He looks ridiculous. Oh, that one's not bad on him either, though. 
Now, normally I don't use it because I don't really like long hair on guys, normally, but this one's not bad either. Hmm. His eyes are very slanty, like very thin, like they don't open very far, as I'm trying to say. Um, I don't remember the other kids having that issue, but they might have and I just didn't realize it. Um, I really like that one on him, but I really like that too, which that's originally what he had, but I like this one as well, and I might go with it just because I really liked it. Mm. Ooh, I like that one too. He looks good in a lot of different hairs. Alright, let me go with ones that I don't normally use. Either this one. I really like that. I'm going to go with that for him. It's very different. I don't ever use it for anyone else. The only other thing I really would like to do is change his eyebrows. Because that's just like, it's killing me that they're like that. So we'll go with that. And he should be, he should be good. He's a very different look, but he's very cute looking. His eyes definitely give him that different look. His eyes being so slanty or whatever they are, whatever you consider them, uh, that definitely gives him a different look. Alright, we need a dresser. I thought we had one. Oh, here we are. Okay. Go ahead and plan your outfit really quickly for me. And we'll get that done. Alright, and you're going to make up some waffles, or... Not waffles. Um, French toast for everyone. Which is good. What's your favorite color? Green. Okay, we could go with green. Look at you in your green shoes. I know I would have never put him in this for an outfit. Um, so I know that's definitely not me. <laughs> that was the stylist of that outfit. So let's see. Every day. Alright, hold on, guys. I've got to cover my bird really quickly. But he's like kind of far away. Do, 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 do. Alright, hopefully he'll be quiet now. Alright, so let's see. It gave it time to load up as well. So it's not like, you know, we're coming in here and just like waiting too, because we have to wait for it to load up. So. Alright, that we could go with. Um. <laughs> nah. Not feeling it. Uh, not feeling that either. <laughs> what about this, though? Mm, I don't really like the collar-y thing. I love that on him. He looks so sophisticated and so adorable. We might have to go with that. Um, ooh, but that looks good on him as well. I think I'm going to go with that, actually. I really like that on him. may not be the exact same color green that he really likes, but it looks amazing on him, so... Hello. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go ahead and pick out some pants. Pants are important if you're going out in the world. Even if you're not going out in the world, sometimes they're important. Those pants aren't bad, but they're not my favorite, you know. I'm trying to stick away from using those custom ones all the time because I feel like I kind of got into a funk where I use them constantly and I just, I kind of want to back away from that. So I'm going to give them these black jeans. The only thing about these is that the knees look funky, but I think, it, what the heck, I think it's because, um, I think it's because they're supposed to look rippled, you know what I mean? Like he's, I don't know how to explain it. Like, he's bent or something. Like, he's... I don't know how to explain it. I can't explain it. <laughs> I'm not very good with the explaining of stuff. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, just get rid of that music. So we don't need that in our ears. Alright, let's go with, I guess, these shoes, maybe? I mean, they don't really match the outfit. And that's kind of what I was going for, but... But it's like the best thing that they have right now. So, whatever. Alright, let's go ahead and get something for prom. Because I'm sure he's probably going to have to go to prom. Or going to want to go to prom. Whatever. He doesn't absolutely have to go. But he probably should. So, we'll just give him a tux and some, you know, classy, classy shoes. Classy. Classy. I'll give him the green. Just to be different. Alright. For sleepwear... Okay, the sleepwear is not 
hideous, but it's not perfect either. I'm going to give him these. I don't ever use them, so there we go. All right, athletics. This is where it's going to get tricky. Mardoon, sir. We could actually give him that if we wanted. Um, he's so tiny that I feel like if we give him no shirt, he's going to look really horrible. So I'm going to give him that. I know it's not really something that you would normally wear to work out, but it's all right. Whatever. 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 All right, give him some pants. Mm. Oh, I hate the strip on the side. I really do. Why can't we just have regular pants? Like, why do we have to have all these funky ones? How tiny he is. He's so tiny. He's like the tiniest sim I think I've ever met. Maybe not, but I'm just saying. He looks like the tiniest sim I've ever met. Um, see, I like these. Look at how weird they look. They look weird. So I never use them. <laughs> Alright. Um... Let's do this. Okay, let's drag this onto these pants and see what happens. Yeah, see, I think that looks so much better. And the shoes he has actually kind of match, so we're going to keep them. Keep it the way it is. Yep, so. All right. Um, just go with green. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, he's so tiny. So tiny. Prunark Dar. All right, let's see. Green jacket. Or this green jacket, which is my favorite. So I'm going to go with it. It's not my favorite color, but he likes green. So hello, why not? Look how tiny he is. That just right there shows off how exact tiny he really is. He is amazingly tiny. It's like astounding. All right. And then just put on some sneakers, which those ones are actually fine. I actually like those sneakers on him for this outfit. So there we go. And I don't think I have any hats or anything that we should put on him, so he looks cute with the hair that I gave him, so I think we're okay with that. So yeah, I think that's a pretty good outfit for him, and he looks much better now. Alright, I forgot that it was his birthday and the twins' birthdays, because I think I only fixed the twins, unfortunately. Alright, can you come clean this? It'd be amazing if you could. While your dad cooks you up some of this uh, French toast. Luigi Ricardo has moved into quiet quarters at 83 Chorus Court with the following Sims. Orlando Ramon Romano, Marta Romano, Summer Romano, Lola Romano, and Trisha Romano. That was quite the, uh, the name. Quiet Quarters at Chorus Court. Say that four times fast. All right, so that's quite crazy. And then I say another word like that. Oh, man. All right. Let me go ahead and have you fill these bowls. I know, I know. All right, go ahead and grab a plate. And what do we have stored in this? Anything. We have nothing. All right, go ahead and store the French toast. At least he's still in a good mood. Even knowing he's mourning, he's still in a good mood. She, the only reason she's in such a bad mood is because she's mourning, she's really lonely, and she's stressed out. So, unfortunately, that's not the greatest. Alright, but her boss is getting good. Who is your boss? Your boss is Rosaria Mancini. Mancini. Alright, what about this guy, Oscar Vigil? I don't know. Maybe. I think I kind of want to go for someone who's already in town, though. All right, go ahead and put away the leftovers. And you need fun. You want to master the cooking, improve your gardening. Ooh, then let's get you to garden. What are we waiting on? Tend the garden. Okay, and you're just getting up now, which it's almost noon. You've slept almost the whole day. All right, and you want to be an athletic, which you are. You start in four hours, which means we really need to get you fed. We'll let you use the bathroom first, and then you can eat some of the um, eat some of the mac and cheese. Okay, what are you gonna go do? Clean that. All right, if you want to do that, you do that. I am not gonna tell you no. <laughs> That's just not gonna happen. 
Oh, did you already mourn this? You did. Okay. You do need to sleep. Okay, keep sleeping. Sorry. Sorry now. Didn't mean to. <laughs> oh, you're out stalking for prey. What a good cat. What a good cat. But you know what would be even better is if you come in here and use this and scratch. And then if you could survey the con con condo. Man, I couldn't get that out because you do want to do that. You want to go fishing, play with a cat toy. All right, when you're done surveying that, there's a cat toy right here that you can go ahead and play with. And then you want to meet a pet and go fishing. Okay. And you are hungry, so we need to get you fed. Is that like the big thing? Well, I mean, you're sleeping now, but when you're done, come and eat from the bowl. And then you need to use the bathroom as well. So go ahead and use this bathroom. You can scratch. All right, and this cat needs to use the bathroom. So go ahead and use that bathroom. And then you can actually sleep in here. Okay, put some stuff in here for you. Some wishes that you have. All right, and you're just tending to the garden, which is great. Go ahead and, um, oh, you must have already uh, um, analyzed that. So that's good. Merging towards overtime. While the suits are rewarding themselves after the successful merger, the office underlings are scrambling to get all the paperwork organized. Your coworkers would really appreciate it if you could stay to help them out. Stay at work until closing time to improve your relationship with your coworkers. Absolutely. Absolutely. We are not leaving our coworkers hanging high and dry. All right, put this away. Put this away. Put this away this way. Man, you got so much in here. That away. And that'll be, oh, and put that away. Okay. You go ahead and put all those books away because you have to, way too many of them. Go ahead and recycle. And you know what I'm going to have you do? You're not going to make ice cream, actually. Okay. You are going to give this to your father because he's the gardener of the household. Going to give this to, I don't know who, just keep it in your inventory, whatever. Hold up. Just hold up for five minutes, buddy. And we'll get you taken care of. Please, just give me five minutes. Come out here and recycle. Clean that up, please. And let's see. Let's get this situated out here so it's not, like, in the way. And pay the bills of 1,166 simoleons. Get the mail. And accept gifts from a friend, because we do have some of those that we need to take. And then we can go from there. I promise you that. The Klaus carpool come in about an hour. All right. Don't work out. It's going to make you stinky. Oh. Did you just ruin your hygiene? No. Why don't you just sit and watch TV? That would be the best option at this moment in time. All right. All right, perfect. All right, who needs the points the most? You have 12,000, 3,000, 7,000, and 7,000. Okay, I would really like you to get them so we can get you the uh, long-distance friend. That would be amazing. Maze balls. There's a letter for Gino from Carlota Gills Carbo. It says, okay, keep an open mind for a second while I paint you a picture. You, me, together. How does that make you feel? Makes me feel sick. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Eight little sims, hybrid baby, perfect genetics, hybrid baby, hybrid baby. Um, I'm a lover, hybrid baby. Okay, here we go. This is from Akina, 1977. You haven't told me how to say your name, so I'm probably still saying it wrong, but hoping I'm not. Thank you for the art easel for Emily in my university game. I just started it today. But you're so very welcome. I hope that she can get a lot of use out of that because I know this family loves to paint. Um, and um, congrats, um, have <laughs> good luck on your university game. Man, I couldn't get that word out to save my life. All right, here we go. We just got a small ivy. Thank you so much. Let me go ahead and send you back a gift because I haven't sent back gifts in a couple of days. Thanks for the small ivy for um, George in my legacy challenge LP. All right, so thank you so much for that. Let me go ahead and copy that and send that out to you. So thank you so much. 
All right. S100 Baby Challenge. Okay. This is from Izzy Wizzy Bear. It says, here's a little something from me to you. Have a great day. Well, thank you so much. And you have a great day as well. Um, I know it's a little bit later, but hey, still got to have another day. So here we go. Let me take this here. We just got the blossoming sm sunflower vase. So thank you so much for that. Let me go ahead and send you back a gift as well. Bam. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Sunflower vase. Nice. Thank you so much for that. And I hope you get something great. Um, this is from Girly3. It's the message from the game. Gonna go ahead and take it here. And we just got the potted perennials. So thank you so much. Have you noticed that all three of these have been plants so far? Because I certainly have. Um, potted perennials. Whoops. Hit. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, so thank you so much for that. Let me go ahead and send that back to you. All right, this is from Random Cat 10. It says, hey, I thought this little gift would be useful for one of your LPs. Hope you like it. I don't mind if you sell it for money. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Random Cat. That means a lot. Let me go ahead and take it here. We just got the zombification, so that's pretty cool. Thank you so much for that. Let me go ahead and send you back a supernatural gift as well. Um, there we go. Zombification elixir. Whoops. Whoops. Go back one more. All right. Thank you so much for that. Let me go ahead and send that to you. Um, let's see. Hybrid baby and hybrid baby. All right. There we go. That is all that we've got for this today. But thank you guys so much for that. I think he's much closer now on getting the uh, friend one. I think it's 20,000 for the long distance friend, and that's what I'm trying to get for him. So he needs about 6,000 more points. So what does he want to do? Pillow fight with the sim, visit the graveyard on a full moon, talk to Jax, and play chess. Do we have a chess table in the house? So I really don't honestly remember if we ever put one in here. We do have one, we just, it just doesn't have chairs. So let's go ahead and move this around. Um... This should really have been in the office, but uh, for right now, until I get something better for them, let me go ahead and just grab some chairs for this. Oh, that is going to kill me. All right. All right. All right. What? This doesn't even look that color. What are you talking about? What you talking about, friend? What? Try that again. <laughs> All right. Um... All right, so he got some pointage. Man, this Gino is getting a ton of letters from girls. Oh, we also got a... I don't even know what that is. No idea. Susan, Susanna Bianchi and Luigi Ricardo have been seen in each other's throats. Well, that's fine. Shh. All right, here we go. Here we go. Why is this not working? This is not the right color. What the heck? Come on. It's not that color. I can see it. I'm not blind. I am not blind right now. Let's see. Let's just do that and we'll pull it on here. I don't know what was going on there, but that was so weird. Couldn't even get it to, like, work. It was weird. I don't know. Oh, and I forgot to unmute the music, so that's why we're just kind of sitting here with no music playing. All right, there we go. So he wants to play chess. Let's go ahead and let him play chess. Go ahead and practice chess. There you go. All right. Your carpool's here, buddy. You better go. And what do you need to work at, on at work? Alright, so we'll just work on whatever we can. 
All right, you just got up to logic skill level three. Perfect. All right, and we do need to fix up this house a smidge bit as well. If we can soonish. Oh, she's going up finally. Yay! And she's not so lonely. Woohoo! All right, and you want to buy a logic book, get a telescope. <gasps> Ooh, we could get the chemistry lab table as well. Snap. I think everyone's done morning this, so I'm going to put it back up here on this. There we go. All right. We do need to finish these rooms because this thing is killing us as well. Um, and yeah. So we do need to get the house a little bit finished as well. I can't wait to see what this house is going to look like in the 10th generation. Can you imagine what it's going to look like? It's going to be gorgeous. I may rip it down at one point, and I know that sounds horrible. What I'm going to do is I'm probably going to rip down the house and rebuild to make, like, an amazing-looking house. And uh, what we'll do is we'll have, like, um, every so many generations we'll change up some part of the house or something. Um, because I really don't like the way the house is. I mean, I love it. I love the house and all. But there's certain things that I don't like about it. Like, I feel like the kitchen's kind of a bit too small because we don't really have much counter space with everything that's in there. So we really should use some more, we need more counter space. Maybe the layout of the house is a little bit wonky too. But I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what we can do. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So only you and dad are at home right now. And he needs to meet some team members. All right. The long, hard hours paid off the paperwork is finished the suits have what they need and the company can continue to prosper business as usual your co-workers have placed you on a pedestal and it's all smiles for now good job oh and some guy is hitting on her she made 185 simoleons he just went to work for the first time all right who is that guy you want to befriend a werewolf write a novel you like to write why are you in this career David Haynes. Let's go ahead and invite this man over. I think that Charity and him would be adorable together. And I think maybe that's something we should do. So when she gets home, I'm going to go ahead and have her invite him over. And I think that'd be best. Oh, why are you on a bike? We need to buy more cars and stuff. I may even... What I may do is move the lot. I know that's probably not what I should do. But I just hate the way that they're like you know, off to the side here. It's kind of annoying. So I may move the lot. Just keep the house the way it is, but move the lot somewhere else. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, he's going to tend outside as well. Man, he's really getting into this. Okay. Well, go ahead and use this and you're going to need to shower as well when you're done. The shoe household has adopted a brand new kitten. Okay. Who's this? Oh, that's that guy. We need to take him to the graveyard. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have you take him to the graveyard when you're done with work. Because you're already out in the town. So it would be easier than having someone who's here in the house. And will have to ride or go so much farther. It would be easier for you to do it. Alright, let's go ahead and invite that man over. Go ahead and invite... No, don't invite him out. Invite him over. Okay. And when you're done with that, then you can go ahead... And if you guys, if you can get him over here, we can give him some massages because you could use some help on, yes, you could use some help on the energy meter. So that would give you that. I don't know if it'll give you fun, but it'll build on that relationship as well. So that'd be great. And then maybe we could even get him moved in today and uh, just go from there, man. Just go from there, man. <laughs> All right. We do want to put the walls, oh, I keep putting them up them down a bit. Okay. Just wait here. Go here. Why don't you actually change into your actual, like, everyday wear as well? Change your outfit. Everyday wear. One. This, this town is quite large. For getting around quickly, it's not the easiest. This man better not stand us up. I would be really angry if he did. All right, and when you're done, go ahead and use, because you do need to do that. All right, you want to playfully pounce at Jax. And you're sleeping. Okay. No, 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 he's here. He's here. All right, why don't you go ahead and, um, why don't you greet him? 
He's definitely a werewolf, but we can deal with that. We can definitely deal with that. Um, and then why don't we do this? Why don't you, why don't you get a massage, deep tissue, from David? Um, can we not do this yet? Get deep tissue, David. Did you not invite him in? Oh, invite him inside. What are you doing? <coughs> I really thought when you greeted him, it allowed him in, but maybe not. George is up to logic skill level four. Okay. He does want to get a telescope, so maybe we could do that as well. Or have him spend maybe some time with dad. I don't know. We'll see. All right, let's see. Can you go ahead and get a massage deep tissue from David? Get deep tissue, David. He had his first encounter with a vampire. He's met Pepe Moretti at work. Okay. Emma Gill's carbo has passed on. Oh, I'm so sorry. Talk about dropping weight. What? She's become thin. I thought she was thin. Okay, so we know that he's a perfectionist. So that's not a bad trait. Let's see what the other ones are, though. That will be the killer. That would be what's going to tell us whether or not he's going to be somebody that we can go after. We also kind of need to know what his age level, like how old he is, kind of. Really? We're going to be frozen now? Frozen, frozen, pudding pie, kids for girls, and made them cry. Don't ask me where that came from because I totally think I made it up. Really? Come on, please. <laughs> Beg my computer. Please work faster. Please. <laughs> All right. Well. Oh, there we go. Oh, and I never set my alarm. Shoot. All right. This is what we're going to do. All right. He's a perfectionist. He's a vegetarian. And he's artistic. Okay. We could definitely go for that. Oop. Let's put the walls up. It might help. Nope. Didn't help at all. Didn't help at all. Um, I think we're going to have to pay him for these. But it's going to help her energy. So Anne is building that relationship really quickly. So it's kind of like, you know what, buddy? You're going to bring money in if we marry you. So what's the point? You know, what's, what's the big deal? We could actually give him a deep tissue massage as well if we wanted. So no big deal there. Ooh, and she's attracted to him as well. Nice. So that's kind of cool. All right. All right. All right. We could do this. We could do this. We could do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. All right. Janet is now a toddler. Oh, she's cute. Um, ooh, he's kind of hairy. <laughs> Alright, you do need to pee, so go ahead and do that. What are you up to? Showering, okay. Yeah, so if we just, you know, give him massages as well, we'll get our money back. So it's not a big deal. Alright, go ahead and eat some of the... Eat some of the veggie burgers. Okay. This is giving her social fun and energy, so... Hello. <laughs> I don't want to get her too much energy, though. Austin Lynn is now an elder. Okay. So we'll probably just do this one, and then she should be probably really good from there. There's still only acquaintances. I really thought this went up a lot faster, but it's all right. Um, let's see. You need to sleep. Why don't you sleep? Slept like feline royalty. Oh, you are sleeping. Okay. All right, you're fine, and you're fine. Okay, good. That's good. All right, you met. You made sixty-six simoleons stay at work, and Kobe is now an elder. All right, hold up. Don't get in that car because I want you to go and throw this in the graveyard. This don't throw it, but I want you to put the gravestone in the graveyard. I just gotta find the graveyard. Here it is. Go ahead and visit the graveyard. And we'll go give him a proper burial over there. Because he's not part of the household, so I really don't think we need that, you know, on our lot. It's just kind of an eyesore. But, whatevs. Alright, so she's got plenty of energy now to at least talk with him a little bit and learn some stuff about him. Friendly. Applaud his vegetarianism. That would be very nice of you. 
The only bad thing is he's a werewolf and he's a vegetarian, so I don't really know what he would eat. Fish, maybe. Well, I mean, he could eat anything normal people can eat, but as a werewolf, sometimes they go a little bit wonky do. Ask about his age. I want to see how old he is compared to you. Friendly. You could ask his sign. Alright. Diane just got a new job. She's also a teen. Okay. That's all that popped up there. Alright. Ask his sign. What happened there? 54 days older than her. Oh man. I think he's got to be almost an elder then. She's got 25 days here. If she's if he's 54, 25 and 25. What? Oh, 25 and 27. 27. 32. He's like going to be an elder in like three days. Is something we want to go for because. I feel like we need somebody younger. He's very good looking though and he had some pretty good traits. Um, I think we should keep looking. Ooh, Gabriella Bouchard is actually kind of cute for maybe uh Niklaus. Unless he knows somebody. She's high school. She's high school. She's high school. Well, yeah, four, four, and four. Sometimes it tells me they're in high school and they have five traits. So hmm. Ooh, you do know her, and she can't be in high school. All right. Let's go ahead and chat with her when you get there and send her a friendly text. Um, I do want to get these bikes out of your guys' inventory. I hate that you guys are riding all these bikes all the time. I really don't like it. So I'm going to have to get rid of the bikes. Um, ask sign. I really feel like, you know... Finding someone attractive is very important, as well as finding someone who's going to be around for a bit for the kids. And personally, if he's 54 days older than us, he's about to be an elder. So I think I'm going to hold off on that. I'm going to go ahead and let you eat some grilled salmon. Um, you need to eat as well, so go ahead and eat some macaroni and cheese. Um, don't turn on the music. Don't turn on the music. Okay, um, let's go ahead and have you clean up the dishes. Now that your wife is no longer with us, somebody else is going to have to pick up that slack there, Gino. And since you kind of fall under that category, unfortunately, it kind of falls upon you. So, you can also fill these bowls just to keep them full because that's pretty important. I think these were just emptied today, so I don't think that we need to worry about those. And you want to have a great group outing. Jack is now a teen. Okay. Um, <laughs> Michael Ashu seems a good catch. Actually, we could reverse his age with that if we wanted to. What a spooky setting. Okay. So we do need to go over there and place this grave stone on the grave. We also need to pick up some more cars, maybe, for some of these kids that we're going to be having just around. I really don't want them driving bikes all around constantly. That would just be ridiculous. So we do need to figure something out for that. Okay, let's put the gravestone in here. I don't know exactly where we can place it, but there's got to be a place somewhere that this is going to fit. So who's over here? This is just remains, remains, remains. Dargram. Okay, well, we're going to place this gravestone here. I know it doesn't have the same... You know what? That's the best I can do for poor old Vaughn Robinson. Um, so this gravestone is not really that big. What I could actually do is delete some of these just remains ones and fill those spots in with actual people's remains um, because that kind of makes more sense in my eyes anyways. Like this one, get rid of that and just put him up here maybe. Just makes sense to me. I actually want to know the people. Um, I don't think you can actually delete a tombstone. Yeah, you can. Let's delete it. It doesn't have anyone's name to it. Tombstone. Like someone didn't die for that tombstone. There is this uncommon seed over here that I would love for you to pick up. And there's another one actually. There's two. Well, that one wasn't uncommon. What was it? 
cocoa beans or cocoa seeds. Nice. We could actually use pan do pancakes with those. So that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm just going to come over and delete the ones that are just saying remains. Because if it's somebody's really, if it's somebody's real thing, it'll say like their name. So that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do if we have people that we need to place over here. And since, you know, he was at our house, I feel like putting him over here to rest properly is where he should really be. So that's what I'm feeling. Pressed by the chocolate fountain. <laughs> All right. So I'm feeling better about having placed him over there and just letting him rest, you know, maybe where his other family is as well. Who knows? All right. <laughs> I really would have loved to have David join the family, but I just feel like he's a bit too old for us. Even though he already is our friend. I mean, we could reverse his age, but I don't think you're supposed to. Um, I don't really know, though. So, we'll have to look into it, maybe. Amy is now a child. Okay. Um, okay, can you clean up your plate, please? That would be great. And dad, I'm going to let you go to the bed because it is getting pretty late. So go ahead and sleep. And when you're done with all that, I'm going to let you come home and eat because you are getting kind of hungry. So go ahead and eat some of the grilled salmon as well. And then you sleep in here, which we need to get you guys like adult bedrooms, really. Tawana is now a child. Okay. Um... Because that's kind of where we should be going with this. We should be making you guys, like, spares and, you know, whatever, bedrooms. So, we need to get on that. Um, you didn't have school today, so you don't have any homework that you were supposed to do. So, just go to sleep. I think you're pretty good on everything else. Alright, looks like you're getting promotions. That's fine. Let's get rid of this feather. We don't need it. Uh, you're taking care of the needs that you need to take care of. I'm going to sell this honey pot ant for 37 simoleons. And you don't have anything. Okay. So you're fine. What are you doing? Marking him. Okay. I really wish I could get David in here. But I just feel like... He's a bit too old for her. You want to sniff him? Go ahead and sniff him. Be friendly and sniff. All right. Love is blossomed between Antonio Monti and Tosha Marvin. Their wedding bells in the future. I have no idea. Why don't you tell me? Santiago is now a teen. Okay. Well, he's doing the mud bath on his own. So if we just keep letting him do this all night long, um, we, he might be young by the time we come back to him. So I don't know. We'll see. All right. Well... Did you pick up those seeds? I don't... Oh, yeah, you did. Nice. So we'll give these to your father. Santiago. Okay. Oh, no. You got a hairball. Oh, no. All right. And you're coming home, and then I'm going to get you to bed. Okay. There you go. All right, you need to scratch, so go ahead and do that, and then I'm going to let you sleep here. Um, sleep, maybe? Unless that cat sleeps there. No, that cat's scratching there, okay. What is he doing? He wants to give somebody a massage, I think. The whole thing is, as sweet as Michelle, massage. The whole thing is, is everyone here is pretty much sleeping, and the only person that's not sleeping is Niklaus, and he's not here yet. He's on his way here, but he's not here yet. Should be here soonish, I would think. Karen Locke has been renewing her affection to his partner, Dallas Locke. They're so good together, whisper to Looky Lou. Alright. And you need to... Alright, you're going to eat and then go to bed. It's like 1.26 in the morning. It's pretty late. Pretty late. Alright, let's get you to use the bathroom. So go ahead and even just use this one right here. Let's use this one right here. Alright, and then when you are done with that, go ahead and come down here and eat from the bowl. You just need to go to bed. What's this? No, don't do that. Come sleep over here. And... 
don't really know what you want to do, so you just kind of do your own thing. Oh, no. The Our kitty cat got sicky. Sicky duty. All right, well, we'll have to clean it up. Gina, when you get up, can you clean this up? That should be good. All right, Niklaus. Um, you should be fine. Uh, yeah. Once you're done eating and in bed, you should be fine. Is that guy still here? Is he still at the house? Okay, so she knows um, Gabriella Bouchard a little bit better. So that's nice. Cause, you know, we want to have some potential wives and things. Um, so I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll just let... We'll let um, Niklaus and George marry. And if we decide later that, you know, since they have wives and things, that it gets too complicated and too many people... We can always kick them out. Alright. Teresa Sang has moved into Renaissance Retreat at 727 Bella Vista Drive. Okay. And they've moved as well. Well, this sounds like a lot of moving. No, 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 no. You're coming over here and you're going to sleep like you're supposed to. I know you want to do this because David's doing it, but we're going to let David do this as much as he wants and see how many days he rolls back his age. I think if maybe he was only like 25 days older than us, you know, that would be like the beginning of his adulthood. And then if we had kids with him right off the bat, he should be able to live to see his children, you know, age up. So that would be good. But the whole point is, is I would have to have him do this a lot and he would have to be here for a while before it's actually going to do anything. So I don't really know. I don't know if he's going to go through that much of it. Uh, all right. Valentimani, they appear to be totally committed. Okay. Is he leaving? Is that what's happening? Is he leaving us? Are you leaving us? Um, looks like it's time to leave. See you. Okay. I want to get rid of this bike. I really don't like it. Merlin has a brand new home right here in town. The little kitten was recently adopted by Goopy's, Goopy Gills Carbo the now, and now resides on his property. Okay. Yeah, I would love to get another, maybe even just place another copy of this lot and move there or something. I don't know. Um... I'd really like to do that because I don't really like the placement of it. And when I placed it here, I didn't really think about how I was going to build a house. But, like, to put down a driveway here, it just looks ridiculous because there's all grass around. Um, so, I don't know. If I were to do it, what I would probably do is I would probably place this over here. Um, I think there's a 64 by 64 lot somewhere over here. I can't remember. It might even be the one that the fire station is on. That might be the 64 by 64. Um, so I do need I do need a big lot. Um, but all I would be doing literally is moving their lot because that way we could you know have like a normal looking house. Here I feel like I have to kind of accommodate to the way the road is, and it's just kind of making the house look really awful. So that's what I'm thinking. Um, you guys let me know what you guys think. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be, like, selling this lot either. We'll just bulldoze it. So it's not like, you know, anything like that's gonna happen. It's not like they're gonna make money or, you know, whatever. Literally, I'm just gonna pick them up and place them over there. So, that would be all I would do. I wouldn't do anything more. I don't know how I would do it, though, because I think you'd have to move lots and you're not supposed to. But, I'm just saying... Do we really do we really have to stick by that? Like, if I wanted to just move it to a different lot, I'm not allowed. That's kind of ridiculous. So, all right. Well, let me go ahead and see um, before Gino gets going, before we get following him around. Let me see how long I've been recording, and I will be back to let you guys know whether it's going to end or whatever. I forgot to start my alarm for some odd reason. It's been a long time since that's happened. But anyway, so let me do this, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, well it looks like I've been recording for almost an hour now, so I definitely have to get going. Um, but in the next one we're going to continue on with trying to find a husband for charity and a wife for Niklaus. Um, 
We'll get them moved in and stuff. They're going to continue on working through their career, which I think she didn't do the greatest, and he did quite well, so that's pretty good. Um, and then I think probably we're going to be getting pretty close to, um, isn't, no, George is aged up. I felt like someone was going to age, but I guess not. I guess the animals have quite a bit of time still as well. So I think we're okay with the people that we have right now. I don't think anyone else is going to be going anywhere for a little bit, but that's good. Um, hopefully we'll have enough money next time as well so I can fix this up. We need to finish off this opportunity for Gino, uh, which is with the onion right here, which is just great quality at the moment. So I don't know. It's supposed to become excellent. I don't know how that's going to happen or if we're going to ever get that, but we'll try. Um, and then let me get, let me know what you guys think about moving of the lot. I'm not going to move the house them to a different household. We would literally have the same copy of the house. It would just be I would pick them up and move them to a different lot. That way we're not like at such a weird angle. And when I do decide to refurnish, you know, I could take everything that's in the house now and put it in the inventory and then just rebuild and place all the items that they have. I wouldn't do anything different than that. It would be pretty much that because just the fact is, we, yes, there's a beautiful view here, but the way that we're on the street, we're so far away from the town. It's just really ridiculous and I'm just not feeling it. So if you guys want to do that, let me know because I would feel more, you know, involved in the world if I was actually down there more in the town. We could always put something else up here, you know, something that we don't use a lot anymore or whatever. Um, but anyways, so let me know and we'll go from there. So again, guys, thank you guys so much for the gifts and thank you so much for watching this. If you guys liked it, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Also in the description below is a few, do is a few links. One is a donation link if you want to donate to, you know, the fund of a new video game that you want to see me do an LP on or um, if you want to help to the fund of building my new computer that my husband's building that would be amazing if not that's perfectly fine as well there's also my Twitter and my Twitch if you could follow me on both of those that would be amazing and I will talk to you guys in my very next one thanks again so much for watching